day of our team coverage. Tonight we begin in Madison County. WRL's Eric Miller is in Marshall where the town is covered in feet of mud. Well, Dan, you probably notice I'm wearing this mask here. That's because not only do we have mud everywhere, we have dust in the air. Almost everyone in town has one of these on because they're concerned that dust might be toxic with everything that was picked up by these floodwaters. You take a look behind me, you can see the massive cleanup effort underway. A lot of this heavy equipment, that's what's stirring up this dust in the first place. And we're even seeing volunteers, people in town, they're wearing coveralls. You take a look over there on the left side of the street, you may just be able to see a pair of volunteers there wearing those coveralls before the mud covers them too. In Marshall, a town that once hummed with bluegrass music, this is the sound of life now. Um, so we've been shoveling pretty much solid since Sunday. Becca Phillips and her family digging out their second home one shovelful at a time. All of the furniture is destroyed, it's all piled outside. Um, we will eventually have to replace the walls, the electrical, the plumbing. The upstream side of Marshall took the full brunt of this flood. We watched this building go down Main Street and, and turn and just devastate everything it hit. The water also twisting railroad tracks like candy, even tossing rail cars multiple blocks. But mostly, it's the mud. We have been shoveling, and it has just been shoveling mud nonstop. Matt Jones watched the flood from a nearby rooftop. It was wild to be sitting out here and you see a, a house coming down the, the river. Now cleaning up the mess left behind is taking a toll, both physical and emotional. Once it was done, it was just waves of emotion that still hit now. It's you'll be fine one second and then the next second you just break down crying. It's 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 crazy. And we have seen so much of that today from so many of these people in this town who've lived there their entire lives trying to be strong. And then that emotion hits, they well up with tears. They have to step away and, and take some time to collect themselves. Now today, the toll from this flood is still ongoing. Buildings that weren't demolished by the water are having to be torn down in some cases because they are no longer safe. They're in danger of collapsing here as well. Just one more thing that this storm has it done to this tiny North Carolina community. In Marshall, Eric Miller, WRAL News. Boy, oh boy, you wow. feel for those people. Uh, Eric, thank you so much. Uh, Life Force, uh, just a, another startling report. Sure is. Cleanup efforts 